this is hey, for well, FNAF 1 and guys. 2. Just let you guys know, I'll find 3 and 4 after and this or tomorrow. Is 1 and 2. I'm going to give off the list of what the top 5 scariest animatronics are in both games. And I'll see if I agree so with this guy. let's just jump straight in. At number 5, we have the puppet from the second game. Start off, that's one though. That one, yeah. The entire second game, this thing was a huge, annoying yappy dog. Constantly needs to be winding up just to keep you alive. The reason it's probably there at number 5 is forgot, probably because of the little blinking triangle you'd get threatening you that you forgot about. Then the risk of winding up it up whilst the uncertainty of where every other character was. Also, the theory of who the puppet really is is quite horrifying once you look at it. If you want, you can click the annotation shown to watch the theory behind it. And link is in the description too if you're on the device. At number four, we have Golden Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Yes, the infamous Golden Freddy. I don't think he's that scary. I think he's just more like a surprising he thing. Like Skittles, as he too is a nuisance. We want to talk about Golden Freddy for the first game, as he was only a one on two hundred chance of showing up. And we'll also avoid the Easter egg for this from the first one. Now, true in the second one, he doesn't really show up until about night five or night six, but he was still capable of making quite a lot of jump scares, all because of his unexpected nature of teleporting. Once you saw him, he'd be in your room, and at first, people had no idea yep. what to do, Man. and from then, the game would be over. So I guess it's viable enough to put him on the list. At number three, we have Chica. Now, it was hard for me to I decide to get started, as both Chicas were equally scary. I and think she's the worst one, because look how ugly she is in number but one. But we'll avoid the toy version for now, because let's face it, the toys were never scary. Why would anyone think that? This version, the, this version is quite unique, as she has two sets of teeth on her. God knows why, but she is also missing some hands, and instead have wires. She came as a surprise, as she come in, and a quick reaction for the mask. But she's up there on list, mainly due to her appearance and the image of her stuffing you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. It sounds quite gruesome, especially to you. I mean, she has wires and teeth. No, no, you're pretty sick. At number two, we have Bonnie. Taking the silver medal for this is Bonnie mm. from the first game. This one was always active in the first one and always moving. Everyone's first jump scare came from when the cameras went out and Bonnie was missing. And he went missing a lot. Also, the faces that we make to cameras and you was quite serious. He saw her take his job of cold blood. That's the only seriously. screen I mean, that I think so much Bonnie first, that's scary. Bonnie was quite effective in both first and second game. Definitely a scary mother. And at number one, we have Foxy. Being the golden boy is Foxy from the first game. This little robot was an annoying little. I kid, Thank I kid. You. Foxy wins the battle of scariness today. He was a huge annoyance in both games, but the first was probably more. Well, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I agree with him on some of them, but I replace like okay, Golden Freddy can stay in there because it's for one and two, but Bonnie not so not so much. I think I'd put um, I wouldn't no or like Mangle or Balloon Boy because they're both really annoying. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow with two more top tens. Peace.